Cut you. <laughs> this is funny, Bob stream so educational. You can actually stream that on Twitch, that's funny. Just started watching your YouTube, have you ever died? But if you just started watching, that would be a spoiler if I told you the answer. <laughs> I, I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should tell you. You don't want to get spoiled. Alright, oh, you know what we can also do is all those berry bushes at the bottom right of this island. Bring them back. Not, like, not necessarily bring them back just yet, but harvest them. That will fix a lot of the food problems. We can start spamming meatballs. Let's leave the green caps in here. Our sanity right now is looking really well. Sweet. Uh, do I have an axe? I don't believe I do. Let's get our charcoal. Hello, drying racks. How bad is meatball rains in the ocean? It's the same as it is on the land, but if your boat gets hit, I think an armored boat can take one hit. I think. Maybe. I don't know. But I deal with it on the ocean. I mean, is this character, it'd be a good, or I deal with it on land, is this character, it'd probably be a good idea to to deal with meatballs on the ocean. Because if I were to get hit, I would spawn, but then again, I'd have to deal with, you know, like, being dead, and then, yeah, just spawning on an island with absolutely no resources. No, it doesn't sound fun. But I find them, I do it on the land, it's easier to see, I can deal with hound attacks with tooth traps. Uh, the dragoon eggs land, they break, they turn into rocks, they turn into flint. So many resources. That's why I do it on land. He may or may not have died, but he truly lived. <laughs> That annoying moment when you want water, but your phone is almost dead? You want... What? What? I'm not sure what you mean. You should try it. Try what? What, what, what am I supposedly trying? Okay, I don't want to make too many of these. They go bad pretty quick. They're like 10 days or something. We're actually starting to build up a little surplus with what little we have. Oh, it's so good. Let's combine the rot stacks, throw the snakeskin in there. Again, this is not, this is not necessarily organized, but we're just prepping. I don't know why I didn't pre-craft that chest. How dare I? Bits of bone. Uh, all that shit. Let's get. Let's pick it up. Pick up what I can. I have two spider eggs. We can start making a little spider farm. Do I have any bone shards? Oh, I do. Yeah, this character gets bone shards like nobody's business. The whole chest. The whole. The whole. Um, X marks the spot thing. There's no shortage of bone shards. It, it's. It's almost too easy. It's nice. <laughs> It's a bit much at times. A bit overwhelming. Water meatballs? Why would you water meatballs? Don't ruin the meatballs. That sounds weird. I'd be hungry. Well, more than likely we'll, we'll do the berries and monster meat to get a bunch of meatballs here shortly, so we'll have to hold off on that, buddy. Frogs are, uh... Yes, they are. Uh, I need to kill you because I'm trying to read chat and harvest charcoal. <laughs> Not a good thing to do. Not a good thing to do. I agree, frogs are stupid. That's a quote. A moment when you want to want to see your comment that you only can use memes to get him to. I try and read everything, WTF. Uh, how much charcoal? 25. Okay, well, I don't think I have the rocks with me. I have one cut stone. There's a couple rocks I can mine up. Uh, we have plenty of rocks at home. We can start doing char or charcoal. We can start doing loads of crock pots. Cool. Okay, we'll leave just on the ground, because I'm, I'm, I'm skedaddling. I am skedaddling. And this season's gonna be going away soon. Feels good, man. Once we get through dry season, assuming we don't have any issues there, calm season's back to probably exploring. I need to get I need to get some exploration done. Yeah, I'm working on my base, but I do need to start finding other other things. Like a Yarktopus. How amazing that would be. I asked earlier, but missed the answer. How long did it take to unlock the new character? Swaggy, we unlocked it through the console by spawning in the keys and then freeing him from the volcano because I wanted to see the character. Otherwise, it takes a very long time, and it's a lot of it's up to RNG to get the character. And I just wanted to play the character, and I wanted to stream it. If you want to unlock the character legit, you have to kill the Quacken once to get one key. You have to feed the Yarktopus uh, some items like fish, food, whatever, and he can give you the second key. And again, that's all RNG. You have to find the Arctopus, which is a pain in the butt to begin with. And then the third and final key you can get from digging up, or fishing up, I'm sorry, watery graves. And when you fish them up, you have a higher chance every time you don't succeed to get the third and final key. So it's like, a lot of it's RNG. 
And you know, if that's your thing, cool. I mean, if I wasn't recording, if I didn't want to, if I didn't want to stream it same day, I would have played. But I wanted to show off the character, so I, I did that. Just yeah, they're, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could have did it legit, but I wanted to show the character off. So it is what it is. Sanity's looking well. <laughs> I love this. He must be a really fast reader. You have to be Christy to look at chat, read it, and playing the game. Yeah, your multitasking skills are seriously impressive. It's so... People are like, oh my god! Volks missed my one thing I said! I'm sorry! It, it's so hard to, you know, focus reliably, play the game, not die. And, and, I mean, I'm sure you understand, but it's a, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. I was watching the Slick try to unlock him, and it was taking him a long time. That, that's what I mean. I mean, it, it takes a while, and unlocking him legit's cool and all, and normally I would have done that, but I wanted to play the character, so that's why I did it the way I did it. Like, normal circumstances would definitely have been different. Alright, I want to go get those berries, but I don't want to lose them, so let's not put them on screen. Let me mine those rocks. Maybe I can get a, enough to make a, um, I would call it a crockpot from here. Probably not, though. Especially with these monkeys stealing everything. Those monkeys in my way. Monkey, fuck off. Can't do that, so some of the, some of the stuff got taken. If I feed him a banana, I'll get everything back. Quickly, quickly, quickly! You're also probably one of the 10% who has read 100% of everything that's put in front of you, yes? Uh... Sometimes. I'm the kind of guy who, when he's eating cereal, he reads the cereal box. <laughs> he reads the ingredients on the cereal box to read the ingredients. That shouldn't spread too far. I know this seems like all is lost, but everything's soaked right now. Well, that's gonna hurt the monkeys. Stupid monkeys. Alright, let's get away from this. I'm not, not risking losing green caps. Nuh uh. Okay, monkeys, I can befriend you with a banana and get you out of here. Oh, oh, hold on. Yes! Attack! Distraction! 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 Please don't follow me. Please don't follow me. You didn't follow me? Good. You okay? Maybe? Chat? <laughs> I thought I was following. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Allie Jr. It's fine, man. Can you put wood flooring above crab holes? Um, I believe you can, yes. Pretty sure you can. Oh, we need to get another tropical fish. Do I want to make another... I want to make another fishing rod, but I don't want to fish right now. We need to wait for this to die off. Let's just go mine again as we as we wait. Waterlogged manure. Let's put it in a chest so it's useful as a fuel source. The pickaxe. Let's use the one that's a little bit more broken. It was an event compulsive reader. It's a small percentage of the population that reads the whole thing rather than scanning for highlights. No. No, Christy, yeah, that, that, that wouldn't be me then. I mean, depending what it is, sometimes I'll read for highlights, sometimes I'll read it for all of it, like what it is, but no, I don't have to read everything that's put in front of me. I just try my damn just to read everything in Twitch chat, because it's probably the nice thing to do. I dislike when I'm watching somebody stream who has like three viewers, and I'm like, hey man, um, suggestion or question, and then they're like, 30 minutes later, oh, this guy said something. It's like, eh, I mean, you, you do you, you don't have to read everything I say, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> I am one, so I think it's eyes. Yeah, that, that does sound a little bit annoying, Christy, holy shit. That'd be a pain in the butt. A lot of reading. Oops. Quick, kill him! Okay. Mosquito, stay the hell away. Need to be night here in a second. More logs is welcomed. All the chests. Nobody congratulate my amazing hashtag. Learn my clearing? I don't know. Oh, goodness. Oh, hello. Whoa, I just equipped like 14 things at once. It's a nice thing to do. That's why we love you. <laughs> well, I didn't always stream, but apparently you guys liked me beforehand. <laughs> Just kidding. Folks cares about us. <laughs> that is, that's why I teach English. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense too, from that perspective. Very, very detailed. Makes makes a whole lot of sense. Alright, we can whip up some banana pops if we so choose, but I can keep them on the on ice for a while longer. Five days until meatball season. Prepare yourselves. That tropical fish is is gonna die. Uh, let's. I don't necessarily need to get charcoal right now, but I'm gonna keep these plants tight knit, or these trees tight knit. It'll just make it easier for harvesting later. We don't have to run around. Okay, let's move some tools. 
And let's dry our butts off. And you go in here. Uh, no, 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 no. You go in there. Rocks, no. Rocks, flint. I don't need a stack of flint, that just gets annoying. Craig has me getting wet, folks. <laughs> uh, give me a second, I just gotta take a quick bathroom break. It's been, oh my god, it's been three hours and I haven't gone to the bathroom yet. Just give me a moment. Just, just a moment. Wrong, wrong scene. One second. He's gone. Let's talk dirty about him behind his back. Oh, yes. <laughs> Somebody asked a question before that. Folks, what is the enemy in Don't Star you, you fear the most? Do I fear the most? Huh. Hmm. I don't know. Dragonfly is a joke. Verger's very manageable. Deerclops is manageable. Goose Goose is a pushover. Spider Queen kite like two, you hit her two or three times and you kite. Seal NATO when he was new was a little terrifying. Hmm. Tiger Shark's a joke. Quacken's a joke. I don't know. The bosses are kind of at, at this point. Like that bottle just like made a lot of noise, but at this point, a lot of the bosses are a joke. I don't know. There's no enemy, I guess, I'm super afraid of. The only thing I guess really gets annoying is overwhelming hound attacks, and it's hard to deal with the wave sometimes. Monkeys, yeah, they're they're up there. <laughs> Dragonfly's a joke, oh god. Yeah, Dragonfly's a joke. With two thermic fire pits to block them off for rocks. Yeah, Dragonfly's, Dragonfly loses all of its threat. We sit too loose, brother. Oh god, what? Uh, let's eat the surf and turf. We're hungry. Oh, that's sanity. Yeah, this thing's going bad. However... I can prolong it. Yeah. That'll work, right? And why don't we... Real quick, let's do this. We can go fish uh, real fast. Oh, that's fine. Uh, sure, let's use the liner hat for a little bit. We can fish through the night. Stay busy. To be honest, after you learn how to kite enemies, it's not scary. They're annoying. Yep. That's pretty much what happens. Particularly, like I said, like monkeys. I mean, there's not much you can do about those bastards. I mean, there's, there's things you can do, but they're, they're just annoying. I really like damn monkeys. Volks, do you look like Maxwell? No, I don't look like Maxwell. <laughs> There's a lot of combat going on over there. Monkey and snakes. Alright, I'm getting very wet. There's a merm. Drew, don't die. Oh wait, that's not Drew, that's just a merm. Can't exactly see him, I can only see his eyes. Uh, we're getting really wet, but we'll be dropping off at home. We'll be stopping off at home. Dry off and put these things in the ice box. We should be fine. My pirate blouse be taken on water. Frogs are the worst. Folks, bosses are a joke, but nope, 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 nope. Don't waste that. But how many years have you been playing DS? For a long time now. I don't know. I mean, even if you knew how the kiting works in the very, very beginning, and, and you, you were, like, already good at it, dealing with it, yeah, it's not bad. It really isn't. But, of course, yeah, like you said, if you play it for a while and you get used to it. I don't know why I put all the charcoal on there. It's already <laughs> really going. But it's, 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 it's very manageable. Once you understand it. What is this guy's perks? I missed the last stream. Uh, has a silly boat that he can craft that has an unlimited cannon on it. He loses sanity constantly while on land, which is the most absolutely annoying aspect of this character. Uh, he can find treasure infinitely using a hat that he can craft, which is really, really nice in the long run. Ooh, more tropical fish. See, we need to get the spiders away from here so we can, far or we can farm up tropical fish for our own. No monster meat from that drop. Darn. Alright, let's get back to just drying off. Oh, Spider Queen! Spider Queen! Shoot! Missed the most last night. Why did you have to die multiple times as Wilbur to spawn keys? Oh, we had to die multiple times to get rid of the character because I had touchstones and, um, I didn't have a meat effigy, but I had so many touchstones. Did I have a meat effigy placed? I had it crafted, but I don't think I placed it. And folks, this guy sounds like a blast. Oh, thank you, General. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I'm getting hot. Oh, shit, that's that's a short fire sign that summer's coming around. I mean, granted, the fire's huge, but holy shit. Stop it! Stop it! Why did I not drop off the charcoal yet? Get out of my inventory. Let me just use that to get rid of it. All right, we're dry. Okay, more tropical fish, but more importantly, more spooters. Spider queen's a nuisance. Um, We could kite over the monkeys. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, we could do this. this. This will take some effort. This will take some time. This will take time. I, I have two bananas. This can be done. 
This can be done. Let's do it. Obviously, you could kill Spider Queen yourself. Or, you could be like me and not do that. Don't spawn a warrior. You gonna come after me? Yes, as long as it's not a warrior, I don't really care. Come at me, fatty. Come on, get your big butt over here. Come on. Get your big tushy over here. We're gonna lure you to the monkeys, make the monkeys kill you. Because it's funny. <laughs> oh my god, the fire's coming. We have time. We have time. We have four days. I still need to get a thermal stone of 12 made. Don't you hiss at me like that, lady. Nate, the bot is a bot. <laughs> I need to become moderators at full spot. <laughs> uh, no, don't you, don't you make pit stops. Come on. I need to break that chest. See, the nice thing, too, about what, like, is you get a lot of boards. Let's break all these chests you get. There's a surf and turf. Full spot is WX. Yes. Believable. You, you, you gonna, you gonna keep coming over here, lady? I don't have an axe again. I am, like, the master of breaking axes. I, I never seem to have an axe in my inventory. I must always just use it in one go. Come on. We're almost at the monkeys. This is almost close enough. Let's just uh, be careful with the rain. Our death is coming. No. <laughs> okay. We only really need to give one banana. Oh, did she... Yeah, he did. He just attacked us. Oh, there's the loot! The loot train! I do love that. That's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Here we go. She'll hit a monkey. She'll kill a monkey because she hits for a lot. And we'll let them fight it out. And I will steal bananas. I should keep fighting her. There's not... Oh my god, there's another spider queen. There's not enough monkeys to win the battle. There really isn't. But we'll let them do some damage and distract her and keep her over here. I don't want, I don't want like, them close to my base. Let's just push out. Let's go make that surf and turf we needed. And we'll pick on that other spider nest, too, to get more food. Raspberries are delicious, but why do they have to be so hairy? <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> I don't know. That's, a, that's an interesting question. A very interesting question. I love how wearing an umbrella can keep you from getting wet, sipping in puddles. I'm, I'm grateful for it. Hell yeah. So useful. Without that, it would suck. I need to bring an alchemy engine down here. Two? Holy crap. Can I have all the rats? Drizzle doesn't like raspberries. What a jerk. What an absolute jerk. Okay. Thank you, lightning rod. Distance between... Nope, I'm not going to read that. So let's all forget this ever happened and go back to watching the whole <laughs> Surf and turf. All right, we need more monster meat. Let's go. This nest is tier two. Let's deal with it. Spiders, come on. Hey, folks in chat. Any advice for total DS newbie? I'm going to be starting my first game as soon as I pick up a Steam card. Play vanilla. Don't play ROG. Learn like the game, the base mechanics. Just take your time. Be patient. Armor is a godsend. Avoid combat where possible until you understand kiting patterns, because the the real thing that separates like a good player from a bad player is when you really know how to kite things and deal with enemies and like you don't freak out when that happens, but hoard all the resources. If you're new, you're gonna want to post up next to like Beefalo, you can use them to deal, deal with hound attacks. Pigs are your friend. There's a whole lot. A really good thing to do is seriously to like watch other people play. Just go watch other people who stream it. I mean, there's plenty of people who do. Watch videos on YouTube. Just understand the game before you even get involved, because dying in the game is pretty punishing. When, when you die, you have to start over. You lose your world. So, yep. <laughs> Use the internet to your advantage. Learn things. All right, more monster meat. And the rain's done, and I still want to go get the berries that are all down there. But the monkeys are probably eating it, aren't they? Fuckers. Ah, uh, we could do another surf and turf. Well, let's dry off, because this is clearly an issue. Mm, we can go tonight. We can go tomorrow. I don't know. How much time do we have? Four days until meatball season hits? I, I, you know, I really... As much as I want to fuck around with my new base, I really do need to go over and make that... Make the two thermal stones, store them, and continue to dig up the turf. 
that really does work, folks. I've learned a lot from watching you play. That's what I mean. Like, it doesn't have to be me. In fact, I encourage people watching other people just to learn, like, differences in the way they play. I mean, I'm not fucking perfect. I'm far from it. But there, there, there's many ways to go about the game. And the more you learn, the better. Goob! Goob with 21 viewers! I don't give a shit about the number. Hey, Goob, how you doing, buddy? Were you, I didn't even see you stream. Well, I don't think you were streaming when I started. But how you doing, man? Thanks for the host. You guys do not know who Koob, who, who Koob is, shame on you. I host him all the time. He's a cool dude. Plays lots of Don't Starve Like Me. I don't know if you... Are you playing Wood Legs yet, Koob? Are you playing him at all? How are you liking him? You hating him yet? <laughs> he sucks in the beginning, at least for me. Uh, let's move. Let's leave. Let's skedaddle. Nope! You can have that light. I don't even care. I'm out of there. Fuck it. Folks with husband put him in line. What? Watching you play has taught me a lot. You should totally up more, upload more tutorials. I try to upload a lot of tutorials, but they are very time-consuming to do. <laughs> On top of the stuff I already do. That's why I don't do more of the tutorials, but I'm glad you like any of them. Okay, the cloth sale is going bye-bye. Uh, we would have to use... We, let's just stand still, in fact. Let's stand still. We can make another one. We need more bamboo, which this island has plenty. But let's go home, get the bamboo. Oh, I should put a top hat on, but I don't have my top hat, do I? Fuck, I don't have my top hat. <laughs> Let's make a top hat. Damn it! I accidentally ate all my raspberries. I meant to save some. Rip raspberries. Raspberries are good. I love raspberries. Mm, blueberries are good too. Oh god, now I'm hungry again. I'm always hungry. Doesn't, doesn't, no, no, don't waste this. What, what am I doing? Let's just take this off. <laughs> Alright, that torch can go bye-bye for all I care. Let's get a new sale up and running. I totally forgot about the durability of this thing. I wasn't paying attention to the sale. You haven't got him yet, but working on a new world to get him. Okay, so you're going forward legit. It sounds like you. <laughs> we, we may or may not have scummed it up, but good luck, man. It's up to a lot of RNG, which is what annoyed me a little bit. Your tutorials are awesome. The Firefly one was extremely helpful. I appreciate it. The gaming mechanics are tutorials are hard. Yeah. Yeah, t tutorials are, are awesome for this game. There, there needs to be more knowledge out there for the game. The wiki's fucking fantastic. There's a lot there. But a lot of people like videos, you know, demonstrating visually, visual learners. So, tutorials, I understand. I watch a lot of them too. Hunger, I know. We're going home. <laughs> oh, more boat nights. So, there you go. That is your question about boat nights. They just, they just keep spawning. They don't stop. I have a couple of blueberry bushes in my backyard to plant last spring. You lucky devil. Wiki equals life. Wiki's so good. Make a tutorial for H how to go static too fast. <laughs> C underscore was it C underscore speed and then I think I think that's the speed command. C underscore parenthesis number parenthesis. Yeah. No. <laughs> With my legit movement speed, I'm sure. Folks' uncle put your nephew in mind. <laughs> oh goodness. Folks' uncle is he back in chat again? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. it. Must be up top. I don't know. I don't see it yet. Row, row, row your boat. Yeah. Let's get a sail going. I'll put all these berries in the ice box. Just postpone the hunger. I'll whip up some meatballs. We should have plenty of jerky left. Now I haven't used the good jerky. You know, I'm saving it for sanity. But if it goes bad, we're not going to get that benefit. It should still be good. Let's eat it. It's 15 sanity each. There we go. Sanity, not a problem. Whip up some meatballs, and there's a hound attack. And you know what sucks? We're not on the island with the... <laughs> the fucking tooth traps anymore. Oh, well... We can do this, because I need to... I'm bringing these to Summer Island. We're, go we're gonna tend to Summer Island a wee bit. That'll help. But let's deal with these dudes. I mean, tips for clumsy players I always seem to die of something trivial, like accidentally eating a monster and eating poison early on. You really just play very cautiously. Take your time. That's that's the best suggestion. I'm very cautious. I, I, I let enemy or our, I let Mother Nature do half the killing for me. So when I first played in vanilla, Hound Attacks, I went to Beefalo. I'm like, hey Beefalo, save me. <laughs> and I would let the beef I'd run around the beefalo until they attacked. So just be very careful. Cause any like any mistake in this game is punishing. Oh, oh, it's close, that's one. Okay. Now we're gonna get overwhelmed with hounds. 
And we can still use the tooth traps. Let's do a little bit of... Oh, oh they walk right through him. Oh, he's he distracted on a parrot. He's distracted on a parrot. He's... Oh, no, no, now he's going after the mosquito. We're good! Kill! The legal theories. Three tips for dealing with the hounds. Their attack seems so rapid, it's difficult to manage. Well, they come in waves. So they're going to come like two or three, you know, like in the very, very beginning. And that gives you time to kite them or kill them yourself with melee. I mean, how did it catch me? Well, you can, you can deal with them um, with melee even in bigger numbers. It's more of a pain in the ass and takes more like knowledge of their attack patterns to do. Like that was a stupid mistake. You can hit them twice after they bite once to kill them. But as they come at you in waves in the beginning, you should be able to amass tooth traps, like teeth, make tooth traps. Having like a big field of tooth traps will kill all the things for you. Like I said, let Mother Nature do the dirty work. Run along a whole bunch of beefalo. Hell, when they're mating in spring, run th run by them. Let the hounds go through them. The hounds will just get wrecked. Let Mother Nature do the killing. Mother Nature's a cruel mistress. Spiders, run by spiders with hounds after you. Chances are they'll de-aggro and go after the spiders. Kill a whale. Uh, I could. I could. Have you ever considered garbage bombing the hounds? Yes. I would love that option. Maybe get lots of monster meat for this wave of hounds. We got three. It's okay. Definitely be better.